Hey, how's it going everyone? Jake here and I'm going to make a bold claim that these new uh, battle decks are the best collectible that Pokemon has released all year. These are absolutely amazing. If you're looking for a modern product to collect, then I think these are it. You're going to get in on ground zero. These are amazing. So let's go over why these are such an amazing collectible before we open them up. Uh, number one, display. They look incredible. If you have a shelf or a Pokemon display or any kind of nerdy collectible, weeb collectible, whatever you have, if you have anything on display, these will look amazing. They are so vibrant. They have such a nice, mature, uh, aesthetically pleasing design. I had these on display all weekend and I, I couldn't stop looking at them. They look really, really nice. Like most Pokemon card products just don't look very good on display. Um, I have like a booster box right here and it looks all right. It looks all right. Actually, no, it looks really bland. It does not look good on display at all. But these battle decks look amazing. They look like solid trophies in a dis display case. I've been staring at these all weekend. They look amazing. I think I'm gonna have these in the background of my videos for a long time to come. And not only that, reason number two, there's more value inside of these battle decks than the selling price. The MSRP for these are $25 each and there's well over $30 worth of value inside of these easily right now. Just using my, you know, my the math inside of my head, I can already tell you there's tons of value inside here. Most Pokemon products, you're not gonna make your money back uh, if you ever crack them open. There's less value inside of what you're opening than what you're buying it for. A deck for a Pokemon that costs $12 usually has like two or three dollars worth of value in the cards themselves. But this is a completely different scenario where there's way more value inside of the battle decks than what they're selling it for. And people are scooping these up, cracking them open. Competitive players absolutely love these because there are so many amazing cards inside. I think these are actually the most competitive decks that Pokemon has ever released in recent memory. Someone might say, no, Jake, something in 2006 was better. But yeah, these are absolutely amazing. Some really, really powerful decks with tons of rare cards for a really reasonable price. Pokemon needs to do these a lot more often. They don't, but yeah, let's op crack these open now and see what's inside. I believe in this product so much that I honestly think I want to buy like 10 of them and just hold 10 for six months to a year and see how well these do. I think the m main return on these will be in the first six months to a year, but inside of the box, you get yourself two Pikachu and Zekrom tag team gx cards absolutely beautiful nice holographic if you don't have this card yet and you might not because it's from team up and booster packs of team ups are pretty much gone you just don't see team up booster packs around anymore so that might be a hint of a reprint to come for team up i hope they don't reprint it because the value would absolutely tank on these cards but they might because team up is still a new set and highly desirable you get one copy of that uh, a second copy of it and of course you get yourself a Raichu and a Lolan Raichu tag team GX card really really beautiful cards I just love the quality of these you don't have these cards these are an easy product to buy for 25 bucks you get yourself three tag team GX cards like if you if you crack open some packs you probably won't even get three ultra ultra rare cards in $25 worth of pack. So this is pretty solid at as is, but it comes with a ton of other really nice stuff. Uh, the tag team tokens, no value in that. The dices are actually pretty nice. I really dig the dices because they're actually themed towards the deck, which is really cool. I think one of the things that's missing in this product though is some sleeves. There is absolutely no uh, card sleeves inside of this product and it really needs some sleeves. Like it really, really needs some sleeves because you actually need sleeves if you want to play in the competitive scene. So why not put some sleeves in here? It would make this product absolutely amazing. It also comes with a code card 
for the TCG Online game. So you can play this deck on the online version of Pokemon. And this code card I normally show, I'm not gonna show this one because I think some people would flip out. Um, they might be angry because only one person can get it. It's a $12 code card. You get the whole entire deck and normally Pokemon code cards aren't worth that much. They're worth like 10 cents here, 25 cents here. These code cards are selling for 10 to $12 on eBay right now because you get the whole entire deck. You get both the uh, both Pikachu cards as well as the Raichu card in the online game and as well as all the other amazing competitive cards inside the deck. So just the code card is 10 to $12 on eBay right now. Amazing stuff. Not only that, but you, of course you get an actually competitively viable uh, Pokemon deck, which is super rare. You get the Tapu Koko Prism Star. A lot of people have asked me if the Prism Star is gonna be as rare as the old star, uh, like the Gold Star cars from like the early 2000s. And I don't really think so. There aren't a lot of cool Prism Stars. Tapu Koko is pretty decent, but they're, most of the Prism Star cars just aren't that amazing. You get two copies of the Mallow and Lana, which is really nice. Those are really uh, competitively viable and pretty expensive as well. Uh, I think four copies of the Poke Gear. No, just two. Professor's Research, that's like an easy $1.50 card. Uh, you get Ordinary Raw, that's fine. Quick Ball is a really nice card. Nothing too crazy. There's a second copy of Professor's Research, really nice. Marnie, you get copies of Marnie too, and Marnie is super expensive. Uh, all these, a lot of these cards are worth like a dollar to two dollars, so it's just a lot of value inside of here. There's a second copy of Marnie, that's really nice. More Poke Gears. There's the third copy of Professor's Research. And a bunch of energies, nope. Oh yeah, that's where it is, Jirachi. I totally forgot that Jirachi was in here. Jirachi is like a $5 card right now. And I think you get four copies of Jirachi in this deck. So that's like $20 worth of value just in the Jirachi alone. I didn't fully uh, did the math on the value of this deck. You get Hoopa, I'm not sure if Hoopa is worth anything. But I, just looking at the fact that you get uh, four copies of Jirachi, there's the Dirt Jirachi. If you get four copies of Jirachi and you get the Pikachu and Zekrom and the Raichu, there's the fourth one. So you get four copies of Jirachi. That's the main value of the deck, as well as the Pikachu and Zekrom and the Raichu and Alolan Raichu. This right there is $25 worth of value. So that's the full value of the battle deck. And then of course, you have the Arena Code card, which is an additional $10. And of course, the other cards. The other big ones, I would say, would be the Tapu Koko Prism Star. That's probably a dollar. And the Mallow and Lana, Professor's Research, and Marnie. This is a solid six to eight dollars worth of value right there. It just adds up to well over $40 very quickly. And we're not even counting all these other cards inside here. So yeah, it's just a ton of value. It's an amazing item. So before we open up the Reshiram and Charizard, I'm gonna go into reason number three, why these are a top-notch collectible if you wanna keep a couple of these sealed. Right now, I'm trying to keep 10 of each sealed, hold them for six months and see how well they do. I don't think I'm gonna lose any money on it. And I can't find 10. I can't find 10 to like even hold. They're already like selling for 30 to 35 bucks on eBay and Amazon. It's really hard to find any at an actually reasonable price right now. So reason number three, historically, the sealed battle decks do pretty well. Uh, six months ago, Pokemon released the Rayquaza and the Ultra Necrozma Battle Arena decks. And those were okay decks, nothing too special. Yeah, they, you got like a Rayquaza GX and a Necrozma GX, but they're not, they're nothing special. And right now I checked on Amazon and eBay and they're going for $50 plus, no joke. Two battle arena decks that came out six months ago are well over double their value. And I think these will do even better because these are actually competitively viable decks 
and competitors are cracking these opens just for the Jirachi and the Charizard and Reshi Rams and all the amazing cars that you get inside of here. So yeah, these are super cool, really amazing stuff. And I'm so glad to that, that they made these. Like these are amazing. I am definitely gonna keep 10 of these and just see how well I do. Even if I don't do that well, I think it's gonna be good lessons learned, but my my collector's instincts are, are really like flaring from these. They just hit all of the right box. You get yourself a Charizard and Brexton Tag Team GX. Uh, this is like a three or four dollar card. It might be a little bit less now. You also get two copies of the Reshiram and Charizard Tag Team GX. These are really nice. Uh, probably the most expensive cards inside of the whole entire Battle Arena deck for the Charizard and Reshi Ram set. I think these are a solid $5 card right now. They used to be 10. Of course, these decks came out and their values dropped, but that's absolutely fine. Two $5 cards in this box is very, very fair. You also get yourself some Dices themed after Charizard and Reshi Ram, a little bit more orange than I would like, but really solid. I dig it, made in China, not that matters. And of course, you also get a second code card for the game. Even if you don't play the game online, this is an easy $10 to, if you were to sell it. And you don't have to ship anything. You can just message them the code. It's an easy $10 worth of value. No reason not to do it. And inside of the deck, let's see what's inside here. I didn't really look inside to see what's inside, um, but we got... Ooh, a copy of Volcanion. That's pretty neat. Holographic, or it's like, this is such a weird card. This is the first um, Pokemon printed card that actually feels fake to me. Like, it feels fake. It's just too glossy. It doesn't feel right. It's because the whole entire card is holographic and not just the inside. I wonder if that was a printing error. It might be a printing error. I think just the inside of the card was meant to be holographic, but for whatever reason, the whole entire card is holographic. That's a weird one. You get a copy or two copies of Cynthia and Caitlyn. Uh, Cynthia and Caitlyn's are really, really powerful cards. Those are pretty decent dollar value cards. You get yourself some Mallow and Lana again. Decent value. Professor's Research, I'm just picking out what I know are the main cars that are of value inside of here. Three copies of Professor's Research, you get four. That would be insane. Pokey Gear, those were all like dollar value cars. Giant Harf is 50 cents. There's a Canyon, non-holographic, but pretty decent. Uh, reset Stamp, I thought Reset Stamp was a uh, band. Welder, Welder is a nice card. I think Welder is only worth like 50 cents or so now though. Tag Calls, pretty decent card. All right, so these are the main value cards of the Charizard and Reshiram deck. Professor's Research is worth $1.50 each. So that's like an easy $4.50. Mallow and Lana, I'm gonna say are a dollar. So that's an extra $2, $6.50. And Cynthia and Caitlin are also $1.50, so three bucks worth each. So yeah, lots of decent value here. Both decks are going for well over uh, their MSRP right now. There's tons more value inside of the products than uh, the price that they're being sold for in uh, stores. The reason this is important is because people are now incentivized to open them up. People are incentivized to open them up because there's more money inside of the Battle Arena deck than keeping them sealed. So what I expect is a lot of people to buy these and wish they have. These are practically sold out everywhere I checked and people are gonna be opening up these a lot. So there's gonna be a lot less of them sealed. The fact that the Rayquaza and Ultra Necrozma decks are going for double their value uh, just means so much to me. It means that these will do even better. I imagine that these by the end of this year will be going for 50, 60 to $75 in value. I see no reason 
why these won't reach that price. All of my instincts are telling me that they'll go to well over $50. And there, I can't, there's no data to back that up besides what I have, but that's what I believe in. And I really like this product. So my goal is to try to purchase 10 of the Charizard and Reshiram Battle Arena decks and 10 of the Pikachu and Zekrom Battle Arena decks and just see how well I do by the end of the year. We'll probably do another video uh, at the start of 2021 and see how much value we actually made from these. If I don't make any value, that's fine. Lesson learned. Should have opened them up as soon as I got them. But I think they're, they'll do really well. So yeah, I'm going to try my best to find 10 of each and see how well we do. All right, everybody, that's the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I know a lot of people have been asking me, Jake, what are some amazing sealed modern products that I can get in on ground zero, like as soon as they're out. And this is it. I don't think there's gonna be a better product in 2020 until the holiday set. The holiday set will probably be better than these as far as a modern product goes, but I don't think these are gonna be beaten. They're just amazing. There's nothing coming out in the near future that is probably going to do better than these Battle Arena decks. So yeah, I'm going to put my money behind these and see how well they could do. Uh, do you guys agree or disagree? Let me know down in the comments and I would love to hear from you. Always nice to have some decent discourse or insight. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.